Memphis Steamers, one of the three left undefeated teams in the RFL. It'll throw and a first down. You know, having his lumps, trying to get acclimated. They go with a draw play here on third and 14. 57 yarder for the Steamers, and the kick is wow, it's good. He could third and two. They hand it off to Cleon Markerman, and he's got the first down. Play action. Throws immediately. Wise decision and a first down. Something else just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Throws over the middle. First down to the rookie. Seeing some time in this one. Coach saying start him at the slot. Throws towards the sidelines. Beautiful pass. Touchdowns. Bunch to his left. Play action. Heat starting to come. Down he goes for a sack. That is Jared Smith. Looking for that inside play action. And Smith pushing far up the field so he gets out of the sight range of Preston Schrader. He doesn't feel him coming. Schrader in the gun. Rushed by four. Line holding up well for so far. And this is going to be caught for a touchdown. What a reception by Caven Martin. Unbelievable coverage, but it will not stop the play from being made. Look at this. This is Caden Blair doing everything right here. You see, he slows up. He's using the end zone as his friend. The out of bounds there. He's in good position, trying to go for the pick, but gets boxed out. Not say so. He's had a couple of physical runs to grind out the needed yardage. Here's a throw, and what an interception. Bob Stevens able to catch it as it was thrown too far behind London Foshi. It's all under 25 or 25 or less. You can see that ball just too far behind London Foshi. He was open and pretty much threw it right there. Hey, visit our website, relocationfootballleague.com as well. And here goes a completion to J.J. Vaughn. He opens up a lot for this offense. There goes a throw. Almost intercepted for the field goal. Monarchs will maintain the lead. They're going to fake it here, and this is not going to work. They fumble the football, and the Monarchs take over at the 15. Wow, they try to go with some trickery there, and they failed miserably. Third and 10. He's got the completion. Trey Drain's got the speed, and he's got the first down position. We do this a lot. He's out there looking for a block and a nice run. Trail Lansana. And Lansana wide open on the spot round for carry average right now. Getting those necessary yards, and there goes James last year with that. Inside play action. Down he'll go for a sack as Jaquilla Booth will bring him down. Second and 17. They send the blitz here. Not sure why the lineman didn't get a hand on him. Looks like he was there. He could have chucked him or put a hand some kind of way. Heat's coming again. Hit as he throws. Good defense. 56 yarder, excuse me, 46 yarder is up. It's good. And the Monarchs extend their lead to seven. Take pride in the slot as he'll look to pass. Throws. He's got pride. First down. Single back formation. Play action. Wagner down the field. Catch is made for a first down. What a grab by Romeo Jackson. Haven't called his name, and he makes it despite the pass interference on defense from Brandon McCullough. Truck Al Camion, as they like to call him, on his former days in Mexico City. Play action, though, they go. And he is sacked on the play. Man, don't like the play call there. I guess they tried to sell it as if, hey, we're really running this with Miles Kerrigan in the backfield. But they did not take the bait whatsoever. Coverage was great. So another field goal attempt. They faked one before. I'm going to be honest this time, as they should. Wagner over the middle, wide open, Romeo Jackson. Heavy blitz, picked up well, throws, and Romeo Jackson cashes out his way on the ground here. They will look to pass, throws, and that is just a beautiful read and play. 
20 of 30, I might as well say it. Another throw over the middle and slant. Will they actually give him the football here? Yes, they will. To the end zone. He is stopped. And they're going to motion. Look at the pass. Can Reed Wagner get his 25th? Great protection. They've got everyone in the end zone. Everything is covered. He's got to throw this away. That is just perfect defense. Try to throw it in there, and the Monarchs were well prepared. That was a perfect defense. They banked on the pass, and that's exactly what they got. Had everyone but three players in the end zone cover. Trader going to be sacked on the play. And Sean Richardson absolutely dominating up front on that play. Look at this. I mean, he just runs right through the right guard here pushes him right on his pamper and gets the sack in 2.7 seconds rush three wagner good time throws he's got reese heavy blitz throws first down the lead but they want a touchdown Underneath drag was open, catch is made. Reese reaching out, but he's going to be a yard short. He had the drag on the other side, wide open. I'm surprised he didn't take that. This kick in the conditions is still good. Has all the momentum right now. Heats coming, he's got the catch, Scott's the first down to make this a bit more manageable. The third down, and they've got a first down. Win on their side, so they should be able to knock down a field goal kick here. Throws over the middle and look at the speed take over under three minutes now. Four man rush, Schrader throws over the middle. That's an absolute dot. And what a catch by the rookie Trey Drain. Nine formation, they hand it off and what a cutback. Donovan Rhodes in the end zone. Touchdown, Monarchs. Wow. This kid showing his vision on full display. He's done that twice here tonight but look at this boom cuts right off and what about the blocks they seal that edge and roads man looking like he's got three eyes somewhere so they need a touchdown field goal is not going to do it here goes a throw Scott Eric Reese and Reese has got the first down ball security should be the top priority here goes a throw again over the middle oh what a hit stick Wagner looking throw Catch is made, but out of bounds. Second and 10. Four man rush throws, and he's got a man. Jake Pride. 19 yards. Now up to the 13 yard line, and they finally burn a timeout with 31 seconds. And looking to keep their undefeated season alive. Two timeouts, 30 seconds and counting. Reed Wagner looks, throws, catch is still made by Eric Reese. Looks like they're going to motion him into the bunch. Watch out for Romeo Jackson, not going his way, throws it away. And Reed Wagner looking, he's got to throw it away, nothing's there. This is it. Fourth and two, 17 seconds. Can the Monarchs pull off the upset? Wagner quickly throws, end zone, touchdown, Steamers. Jake Pride for the lead in what most likely will be the game winning score. Wow. Wow, I mean, that play has been carving him up, and they call it at the right moment as he takes flight in the lead for Memphis. Looking to go for two, go up by three. And they've got it. Romeo Jackson will make it 20 to 17. And how fast can someone make a play here? Schrader, this is it. Sacked on the play. And that's game. Memphis Steelers remain undefeated. 8-0 on the season as they take this one again at home this time 20 to 17 you got to give it to the monarchs though this was a much better showing for this team but unfortunately the heroics and the explosiveness of this Steelers offense prevails per usual and keep the party going for this undefeated streak but at least no one more team is going to be undefeated going into week 
nine.